If you are just joining us, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell as we solve the UNEB Maths Pass Questions. Now, the cost C of a roll of cloth is partly constant and partly varies as the square of length L of the cloth. The cost of a roll of 50 meters is 50,000. The cost of a roll of 80 meters is 96,800. Question A says, form an, form an equation relating the cost C and the length L. So the cost of a roll of cloth is partly constant now. Since it says it's partly constant, we're going to say that's the cost, which is C, it's equals to K1. Now, it says the cost also partly varies the square of length L. That's C partly varies the square of the length. So we're going to call this C K2. So from here, you can see that C is equal to this and C is also equal to this. So we're going to do C will be what? k1 plus k2 l squared having established this the question says at l equal to 50 meters c it's 50,000. so we are going to build the relationship for that equation and that means um 50 000 will be equal to k1 plus um, this will be k2 all multiplied by 50 squared. So we are going to call this 50,000 is equal to k1 plus 50 squared is going to give us um, 2,500. So this will be 2,500 k2. So we are going to call this our equation 1. So let me roll my line. So um, now the second one says... Uh, L is equal to 80 meters and C is equal to 96,800. So we're going to do um, 96,800 is equal to K1 plus K2 all multiplied by 80 squared. So this will be 96,800 is equal to K1 plus 80 squared is going to give us 6400K2. And I'm going to call this my equation 2. So we need to solve equation 1 and equation 2 and get our K1 and our K2 to be able to get um, the equation with the relationship. Now, okay, so this is supposed to be equation 2. So I'm going to say equation 2 minus 1. Now, this is our 2 and this is our 1. So for us to do equation 2 minus 1, 96,800 minus 50,000 is going to give us 46,800. K1 minus K1 is 0. 64K2 minus 25K2 is going to give us uh, 3,900K2. Therefore, our K2 will be 46,800 divided by 39. Now, when you divide this, it's going to give you, um, that will give you 12. So, that means our K2 is 12. Now, having gotten our K2, so we say put K2 in equation 1. Now, for us to put K2 in equation 1, that means our equation 1 says uh, 50,000 is equal to K1 plus 25 now instead of having k2 we're going to write 12 so this is going to be 50,000 is equal to um, k1 plus now when you multiply 2500 by 12 you're going to get 30,000 so that means our k1 it's going to be collecting like that should be 50,000 going over it becomes minus 30,000 so our k1 is 20,000 now, having established that A says the relationship now, that means our relationship will now be C is equal to K1 is 20,000 plus our K2 is um, 12 and we have L squared. So, this is our relationship. And that's the answer to that. Now, question B says calculate. Uh, the cost of a roll 
of length 20 meters. Now for you to find the cost of a roll of length for L equal to, we're solving for B, for L equal to 20 meters, we're going to apply our relationship C is equal to 20,000 plus 12 times 20 squared. So this is going to be 20,000 plus 12 times um, 20 square is going to give us uh, that's 400. So this is 20,000 plus 12 multiplied by um, 400 is going to give you um, that will be 48. And this will be, that means our C is going to be 24,800. Final answer. Now, C says, um, I, I says the length of a roll which cost 34,700. Okay, so if um, cost is 34,700, we want to find the length. Okay, so we'll still use our relationship C, which is um, 34,700 is equal to, we we'll have our 20,000 plus 12 L squared. So we're going to solve for L. So we're going to call it like times. This will be 34,700 minus 20,000. It's equal to what? 12 L squared. So when you subtract the 34,000 from 20,000, you're going to get uh, that will be 14,700, which is equal to what? 12 L squared. Now, when you divide both sides or you find L squared, this is going to be 14,700 divided by 12. So we are going to punch this in our calculator. Now, 14,700 divided by 12 is going to give us what? That's 1, 2, 2, 5. So from here, we're going to say L will be what? Square root of 1, 2, 2, 5. And when you do this, you are going to get L to be what? 35 meters. Sorry, yes, yeah, supposed to be our unit. So, as easy as that, you can solve this partial variation question. Now, the truth is, these questions are going to be coming out in your exams, and even as you prepare for them, you can work on these ones. Now, if you have not hit the subscribe button, please don't fail to hit the subscribe button, and also, don't fail to click on the notification bell, so that you can get more videos from us. We are going to be releasing a set of videos and we will want you to study very hard for these videos. If you check our other Uganda videos, you are going to see them. We will be solving even as um, all these questions from at least for the next five years so that you can get more quality videos from us. Thank you and stay tuned.